Secrets and Mysteries. Extraterrestrial. In this series, we explore the world of astonishing secrets and mysteries and delve into 10 topics that may provide evidence that our planet has been visited by extraterrestrial life forms. Mysterious disappearances. Mysterious disappearances of airplanes, ships and their crews from 19th century ships to the recent Malaysian Boeing flight have baffled us for centuries. Is it possible that a technology far more advanced than our own is responsible? Pilots were left speechless when they tried to pursue a UFO whose maneuvering capabilities were unmatched by even the most advanced fighter planes. But we've all heard about the mysterious disappearances in the Bermuda or Devil's Triangle. They frequently occurred in our history and have been well documented. American Air Force Flight number 19 of 1945 is probably the most well-known case in the history of aircraft disappearances. Not just a single plane disappeared, but five TBM Avenger bombers simultaneously. In 1974, a military radar near Calgary detected three unidentified flying objects slowly approaching. They were pursued by a USAF fighter jet. Suddenly, communication between the pilot and base was broken off. Neither the plane nor the pilot was ever seen again. People are fascinated to find out what classified information regarding these mysterious disappearances is stored in government military archives. Whether this information will ever be made public is unlikely, perhaps because these reports may indicate proof of extraterrestrial intelligence that the public is not ready to hear. Ancient texts. The Swiss author and researcher Erich von Däniken attracted public attention with his radical interpretations of ancient texts. His book, Chariots of the Gods, became an instant bestseller. He cited the prophet Ezekiel, who described a noisy machine with wheels and wings. His theory is that our ancient ancestors must have encountered aliens, and these encounters were so fantastic they mistook the aliens for gods. Many other texts have been studied from this perspective. The histories of several ancient nations tell similar tales. For example, stories from the ancient civilizations of Mesopotamia feature many divine beings traveling in machines that emit smoke, fire and noise. Many researchers regard excerpts from the Indian epic Mahabharata to be the most convincing record of alien encounters in ancient texts. For example, the account of the destruction of three heavenly cities. Shiva, who rode this beautiful chariot made from all heavenly powers, was preparing for the destruction of the three cities. When the three cities came together in the firmament, the god Mahadeva pierced them with that terrible shaft of his, consisting of three knots. The Danavas were unable to gaze at that shaft inspired with yuga fire and composed of Vishnu and Soma. Theories that these are simply metaphorical stories that require symbolic interpretation are rejected by Denikin and his supporters. They believe that anyone who sees only symbols in these stories does not know the whole story. Area 51. 
There are supposedly secret US military bases devoted to the study of aliens and unexplained phenomena on Earth. The most well-known of these is Area 51, a remote part of Edwards US Air Force Base in the Nevada desert. This is one of the most famous military bases in the world, and it's highly restricted. Getting into the compound without a permit is virtually impossible. The intense secrecy surrounding the base has made it the frequent subject of conspiracy theories and a mainstay of UFO folklore. What its purpose really is remains unknown. Their top secret programs are thought to include the testing of experimental aircraft, new aeronautical technology and weapon systems. Connections with secret aeronautical research and a series of strange phenomena brought Area 51 into the center of various conspiracy theories, which in 2013 led to the CIA publicly acknowledging the existence of Area 51 for the first time in response to a Freedom of Information Act request filed in 2005. Unusual activities attributed to Area 51 include the storage, testing and reverse engineering of alien spaceships and the study of the life forms found in these ships. Strange artifacts. Countless researchers are fascinated by the discovery of strange artefacts, some of which are believed to have some connection to the presence of extraterrestrial beings on Earth. One of the most controversial of these artefacts is the so-called Antikythera mechanism, discovered in a shipwreck off the Greek island of Antikythera in 1900. It is believed to date from 150 to 250 BCE. However, differential gears like those found in the mechanism weren't used until the 16th century. And technology of this complexity wasn't seen until the end of the 18th century. I'm often asked, why is there only one? And I think the answer is that there were probably many, but we have the good luck that this one was lost in deep water out of the reach of the scrap metal man. An even greater mystery is the Iron Pillar of Delhi in India. It's indisputable that it's not a forgery. It's been standing in the Kutub complex for more than 1,600 years. What is astonishing, however, is that it doesn't show any signs of rusting. How could our ancestors create a material that we now know requires special technology? And in 1959, a paleontological expedition discovered something bizarre in the Gobi Desert. They found a footprint millions of years old, which looked just like a footprint that the American astronauts left on the moon. Similar findings are happening all around the world. Scientists usually find a rational explanation, but in many cases, it seems that these discoveries cannot be rationally explained. Crop circles. Crop circles are a well-known phenomenon. Some researchers claim that crop circles are attempts made by extraterrestrials to establish contact with humans. This theory is supported by magnetic and psychotronic manifestations, energy fluctuations and observations of luminous flying objects in the vicinity of these crop circles. 
there may be some justification for scepticism following the revelation that several crop circles in Britain were in fact hoaxes, the work of Doug Bower and Dave Chorley. However, it has been argued that only 80% of the circles are man-made. Massive blasts of light, orbs of light hovering at the side of the field. Uh, and these are things that to us are inexplicable. We can't explain them. And so I'm completely open to the fact that even if um, the formation we've made is man-made, we feel that they're still genuine because they seem to catalyze other paranormal events. I mean, there has been footage of UFOs lifting out of crop circles we've made. English researcher Thomas Roy Dutton used a computer algorithm to analyze aerial views of these agricultural symbols, and he found that all the circles that were never proved to have been man-made were based on the same mathematical model. The question remains, where did the remaining 20% of all crop circles come from? Close Encounters. Another important aspect in the search for evidence of extraterrestrials are the many testimonies of direct encounters with aliens. These are so abundant that the term contactees was established and is used for people who claim to have encountered aliens. These people usually claim that they've been given a message. The highest occurrence of contactee testimonies was in the 1950s, which some believe is related to alien interest in the human use of nuclear power. In addition to contactees, there are abductees. Probably the most famous abduction case, which later inspired a film, took place on the 5th of November 1975 in Arizona, when a group of lumberjacks were returning home from working in the woods. Even today, they still all agree that they witnessed an alien spaceship hovering motionlessly in the air. There was a ray of blinding light, and one of them, Travis Walton, disappeared. He was missing for five days. When he reappeared, he recalled frightening experiments on board an alien aircraft. His testimony was never disproved, and he successfully passed a lie detector test. In analyzing the statements of people who claim to have encountered or been abducted by aliens, there are similarities. There's the UFO sighting, then an intense ray of light and a crackling sound, followed by paralysis of the contactee or abductee while remaining fully conscious. There is no hard proof that this has ever happened, but we can assume that if such an event did occur, it is unlikely the information would be released to the public. secret projects. Several countries have budgets designated for programs and projects that are being kept secret from the public. And some of these programs have been considered to be proof of extraterrestrial activities on Earth. 
One of these is a group called Majestic 12, or MJ-12, the code name of an alleged secret committee of scientists, military leaders, and government officials formed in 1947 by President Harry S. Truman after a series of UFO sightings above US territory. Even today, MJ-12 is shrouded in mystery and remains the source of many conspiracy theories. Allegedly, the organization has transformed into an elite committee of scientists and officials with even greater authority than the CIA, subordinate only to the president. MJ-12 was involved in Project Aquarius, a program closely related to UFO activity. It was officially named in 1960, but there are speculations that it was established at the behest of President Eisenhower in 1954. The project switched from secret to top secret classification and then to the highest degree, top secret Orcon. The aim of the project was to gather all scientific, technological, medical and media information linked to sightings and encounters with unidentified and identified alien life forms. According to some of the project's participants, this information was later used in advanced technological research. The surviving documents, whose authenticity cannot be proven, show that in the 1970s, MJ-12 was called MJ-3, and in 1976, the materials they had discovered were more advanced than our own by thousands of years. Most of these highly classified projects are not concerned with the actual existence of alien life forms, but rather with the question of how these encounters can be exploited to advance our own technology. High probability. Statistically, every star has at least one orbiting planet, which means that our galaxy alone must contain more than a hundred billion planets. Most of them are, at least in size, similar to Earth. Logically, we may deduce that the probability of our planet being the only one to host life is very slim. Recent calculations have increased the probability of inhabitable zones in our galaxy, meaning that some planets, thanks to their atmosphere and distance from their star, have the potential to support life. If we also consider the fact that life emerges spontaneously, even in harsh conditions, even scientists have to agree that we cannot be alone in the universe. There are an estimated 10 billion planets similar to Earth. Besides the Milky Way, roughly 500 other galaxies have been discovered thus far. The probability of life outside our solar system is therefore indisputable. The likelihood of the existence of a civilization as developed as ours, or even more advanced, is still widely discussed. In the light of other discoveries revealed in this episode, we can imagine that this likelihood is very high. In fact, many would say it's no longer a possibility, but a certainty. Space missions. Setting aside various accounts of disappearing aircraft, let us examine specific space missions. A number of astronauts recounted that they came across objects in space which showed characteristics of controlled aircraft.
During the Gemini 4 space program in 1965, the second US manned space flight, a UFO was sighted by astronauts James McDivitt and Ed White. For about an hour, the cylindrical object kept pace with their ship. Photos taken by the astronauts were analyzed by mission control, but they were never officially published. Flying objects of extraterrestrial origin were allegedly also seen by the crew of Apollo 11 in 1971. These objects are mentioned in transcripts of the communication between the crew and Houston Control Center. Buzz Aldrin, the second man to set foot on the moon, said he witnessed an unidentified object during the flight. I observed a light out of the window that appeared to be moving alongside us, he said. However, there are many explanations as to what this could have been. Further evidence of the existence of alien life forms are the accounts of Russian cosmonaut Vladimir Kovalyonok, who spent 217 days on the space station Salyut 6 between 1977 and 1982. I've seen many UFOs in space, he said. The 62-year-old is surprised by the silence of his colleagues. I don't understand it when the other cosmonauts say that they didn't see anything unusual in orbit, he said, and added that he saw several UFOs of various types, shapes, and sizes. Unidentified flying objects. As we delve into the 10 most astonishing claims of evidence that our planet has been visited by extraterrestrials, we cannot ignore the UFO phenomenon itself. As technology continues to develop, the likelihood of finding proof of an unidentified flying object from outer space increases. Two thousand and fifteen saw a breakthrough when documents on UFO sightings by the Army were released to the public. The so called Blue Book, although it's considered to be only a fragment of all the data in the American archives, declassified a hundred and thirty thousand pages of formerly top secret material. Today, most of the cases are explainable as natural events, but six percent of these events still remain a mystery. According to ufologists, this is clear evidence of the presence of aliens on Earth. The most debated UFO case took place in 1947 in Roswell, New Mexico. Speculation is still rife that the American Army discovered a crashed alien spaceship along with its crew. The US Air Force changed the official version of the incident several times in the following years. One story was that a weather balloon had crashed at the site. To this day, the incident is surrounded by conspiracy theories, and ufologists believe it to be the biggest military cover-up in history. Ufologists also consider the current disclosure project, led by Professor Stephen Greer, to be indisputable proof. Professor Greer gathered more than 500 testimonies of former army, government, and intelligence employees. The contents of these statements appear to prove the existence of encounters with extraterrestrial technology. watching a UFO on a radar, 
that was hovering at about 80,000 feet. It sat there for about 10 minutes and then slowly descended uh, until it dropped off the radar. It was gone for about five, 10 minutes and then instantly reappeared at 80,000 feet, stationary. Extraterrestrial. There is myriad life in the universe, and that life, full of mystery, is more than just statistics. 